Hey, today we're taking a look at the Nitsi cage for the Sony A7S III. And we're going to draw some comparisons to the small rig version as well. So let's get into it. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I'll try to keep this short and sweet. It's a simple product, of course, but it is important. I've been using the small rig cage. I actually have one here on my A7S III and I have an extra one. I bought two in kind of mistaken foresight thinking that I would have two of these cameras eventually. Probably not going to. I might actually switch this out for the A1 soon. But we are going to draw some comparisons between these two cages because I have been using the small rig for a while uh, and I feel like I know what I like and dislike about it. So we'll see if the Nitsi cage improves on that, matches that, or doesn't quite meet the standards. So first of all, let's just go around these cages side by side and talk about the physical similarities and differences. The Nitsi cage is on the right here and the small rig cage is on the left. As you can see, they do both have these kind of cutouts here to match the grip of the camera. The small rig is ever so slightly more curved right here under where your finger will sit while the Nitsi cage is a little bit more squared off. And honestly, I've been very impressed with the comfort of holding the camera handheld even with this small rig cage on there more than I have with uh, cages for a lot of other cameras. So I am curious to see once we get this on the body how it actually feels in my hand if the Nitsi cage uh, has a significant I would assume, if anything, it's going to be worse um, because this is really good. But we'll see if it's significantly different or if it's still very comfortable or not. That's something I want to look at. Another big difference that I see here is that the small rig cage does have this small little screw right here which screws through the loop, uh, the eye loop, whatever you want to call it, that's usually meant for a camera strap on the camera. Uh, and that gives you a second point uh, that this is connected to the camera so that way it's more secure, not only the single screw on the bottom. The Nitsi cage doesn't have that. There's only the single screw on the bottom. So we'll see how tightly it fits in there and how easy it is or is not to come loose. But that is, I think, a key difference uh, in these two cages, even though it's a very small physical detail. Other than that, we do have uh, loops for like a hand strap if you wanted to put that on here. We have several screw threads, including three eighth inch and quarter inch screws uh, with locating pins. Nitsi does have locating pins uh, on both sides of this quarter inch screw thread as well, where small rig has that only on the side of the three eighth inch screw. Nitsi does also make, they're one of the very few, if not only companies that make accessories like um, magic arms and stuff that do have a quarter inch screw thread with that locating uh, pin design, and I really like that. So I assume that's why they make their own cages this way to be compatible with the accessories that they make. So I like having that with one screw type accessories, like a magic arm, it really helps to make sure it's not gonna rotate loose under the weight of whatever you have mounted on there. So glad to see that. Moving on to the top of the cages, you can see that the surface area of the small rig is much larger. Uh, the shape here is a little bit different, but it looks like it will sit around the buttons and the dials relatively similarly. There might be a little bit more access here, whereas the small rig is a little bit wider in that area. Again, we'll see once we get it on the body. Um, but you do also, again, have more locating pins here around this center 3 8 inch screw thread. On the uh, small rig cage, you only have two. And I think that's, again, great because some accessories that you might want to mount here don't have locating pins that you can switch the orientation. They're only in the front and the back or they're only on the side. So being able to switch that up in any direction you want works with more accessories. So I appreciate having this on the Nitsi cage. Otherwise, there are maybe generally fewer screw threads because of the smaller surface area, although you do get some over here. With the small rig cage, you have a cold shoe on the right side. With this, you have it on the left side. That may or may not matter to you depending on how you set up your rig, uh, but it is a difference between these two. Now on the left side, these both do have NATO rail designs. So if you have any kind of NATO rail side handle, for example, you could use that right on there. They do also have their own little kind of indentations in um, design that will fit with their own brand's uh, HDMI cable clamp, which I do not have here. We're just gonna show the cages today. Otherwise, again, with a Nitsi, you get um, both 3 8 inch and quarter inch screw threads on here, whereas with the small rig, you only have quarter inch screw threads on the left side. So that's nice to see some variety, some options. And again, you see a lot more of those holes for locating pins. Again, Nitsi makes quarter inch accessories that do have those locating pins Great to see, I love those accessories, so you have full compatibility with them here. Looking on the bottom now, Nitsi is a little bit larger 
not that significant. You do have more screw threads on the Nitsi as well, some small screw threads that I assume are to go with some um, brand made, Nitsi made quick release plates that maybe screw into the cage a little bit more securely, more permanently, I'm assuming, or some base plate systems or whatever they make. But even besides that, you do have more uh, screw thread designs and strangely enough small rig actually has locating pins on the side of this quarter inch screw thread on the bottom You do also have magnetic tools tucked away under both of these cages They're slightly different but essentially the same function and you've got full access to the battery doors on both of these as well Now there are actually some key differences on the front of these cages as well with small rig You've got some little screws down here that can be compatible with some of their uh, lens adapter supports or things like that. Uh, the same with Nitsi, you've got those little screws down there for that. But with Nitsi, you also have these four screws up top as well as one down the bottom here, kind of next to the lens. And I really like those because those are great for screwing in these rods like this here. And then you can mount a follow focus wireless or just a, a small uh, single rod follow focus right on there without needing a larger setup with the rod block below the cage and everything like this. This is a compact camera, so for me, I do want to keep it compact even when I kind of do rig it up a little bit. I'd like it to be a compact rigged camera, if that's like a understandable way to say it. So having these screw threads that are front facing, I know is a big deal for a lot of people. So I'm glad to see that they did that. And Nitsi, this is also a Nitsi rod here that has that quarter inch screw thread on it that you can use right here or on any of these top positions, maybe depending on the lens you have, depending on the other accessories you have mounted, whichever works best for you. We're gonna try that out again once we get it mounted on the camera just to show you a little bit better of exactly what I'm talking about there. Okay, so key takeaways here, things that I wanna check once I get this on the camera, things that I think will make a significant difference between these two. One is, of course, the grip. The small rig I know has been very comfortable. We'll see if the Nitsi as, is as comfortable or if there's a significant difference there. Another thing is because the small rig does have this little screw here that goes through the strap little eye loop thing for a second point of contact. This is going to stay on there. It doesn't come loose. I've had it on there for a while now on my camera and it has not come loose at all. So we'll see if that's a problem or not with the Nitsi cage, which only has that screw on the bottom. Otherwise, I love the connections that this Nitsi cage has. It has all those little locating pins all around the cage uh, for use with the great Nitsi Magic Arms that have those locating pins. Great for a secure connection that don't come loose under the weight of whatever you're mounting. Uh, and I do love that they have those front facing screw threads that is going to, I suspect, work great with these screw and rods for things like a follow focus that keep your rig compact yet full featured. So just so we have some point of comparison here, let's take a quick look at the cage, the small rig cage on my camera right now. And I'll point out a couple of those things here. You can see the grip here with the way that it not only curves in where your finger goes into that grip, but also kind of follows that curve of the natural curve of the body uh, all the way down. It's not just poking out straight here. And it, that tapered design really does help it kind of blend into the body really, really nicely. And that is a very, very comfortable uh, grip there. Again, I've been using it like this and I suspected when I first got this cage, that I would take it off in some situations and then put it on in some other situations. If you watch my review for this gauge, I think I actually said that in the review, but I've just kept it on there because it feels great. It feels like it belongs with the camera. So I'm really hoping that is true for the Nitsi as well. On the top right of the small rig cage, there is this cold shoe here. And if you've watched my review for uh, the PD Movie Follow Focus, for example, you've seen that I used their cold shoe uh, rod adapter here to mount that wireless follow focus. And that worked great, that's fine, no problem. Still, you can use the center mount for a monitor mount or for a, a top handle, for example, and it's great, it works together. But if you're using this handheld with an actual manual follow focus, for me, again, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna be holding the grip here and I wanna work that manual follow focus with my left hand. So whether it's mounted on the top or mounted on the bottom, I, I, I kind of want to have it here on this left side so that way it's more natural. Again, if I'm hanging this even from an easy rig, for example, I'm usually gonna be working that follow focus with my left hand. So I think that having the cold shoe for that you know rod mount, for example, the cold shoe mount, uh, on the left side will actually work out better if I use that. But also again, that Nitsi cage does have those screw threads where I could just screw it straight into the front, not even use that cold shoe, leave that open for something else. And then I could have it on the left side of the camera where it's more natural for me to use that manual follow focus. So uh, that, that's kind of the main thing that I wanted to show you here. So let's go ahead, take this off, switch over to the Nitsi cage and just um, yeah, check out the rest of it. 
All right, so we're going to start off at the top because that's what we're looking at now. And you can see uh, there's plenty of space here to get to all of the buttons. If you're holding it, you can reach the record button. Uh, no problem. Maybe it doesn't look like that, but you can. You can reach the record button as well as the custom button there. Of course, no problem with the shutter. Uh, you can reach your exposure compensation dial. Maybe is the most obstructed just to get your finger in there because of the little lock. But for me, for my fingers, there's enough room to squeeze it in there, push that down to lock it or unlock it. I don't know why it was unlocked. The mode dial as well, you can get your finger in there to push down the temporary lock and turn it. For me, no problem there. It's not quite as tight fitting on the front as the uh, small rig cage is. That actually has a little cutout space that you might be able to see under there because it actually does fit really tight to the body there and it just kind of cuts out right around the viewfinder. So this is a little bit more spacious, I guess you could say. I don't think it's necessary, but that's just how it is. On the side here, very similar. Um, I don't see any significant difference. Of course, you still have access, complete access to all of these doors here. Um, I don't have the HDMI clamp here to show you. And I'm happy to say actually that I almost forgot to comment here about the grip because it is equally as comfortable as the small rig cage. Uh, the grip on here, is very comfortable. Again, it almost doesn't feel like there's a cage in your camera. When you're holding it, your fingers settle on the camera body, not on the cage. There's not really any of the cage that's pushing into your fingers. There's no discomfort at all in holding that. I have no problem whatsoever uh, hand holding this camera with the cage on there. Very well done. On the bottom, of course, full access to your battery door and everything like that. You've got plenty of screw threads down here for things like a different tripod plates and whatnot. So let's quickly take advantage of this screw thread that I talked about so much and screw that rod in there and get my follow focus on to show you why I love this design. It's a small little addition, little change, but I love it. So now that's kind of a weird angle to show you from, but you can see that with that rod screwed in there, I can just slide on this little tilt uh, follow focus and this is super compact here. I don't have anything on the underneath of this. I don't have anything on the top of it at the moment either. This is super compact and I've got a nice little handheld uh, rig here for, of course I'd want a top handle, but I've got a nice little handheld rig here for a manual cinema lens like this Irix lens, which is actually pretty fat. And if you're curious, this is a fairly fat lens, but there's still enough clearance there to get that rod in there on that bottom corner. The way that this rod screws in is to turn away from the lens to tighten. So as long as you have this screwed in tight, then any kind of pushback, I guess you could say, from the lens as you're using this is going to push it in that tightened direction. So there's no risk of this rod accidentally screwing loose under the strain, under the tension of, you know, pushing against your lens with the follow focus. So it really, really works uh, quite well. I love this setup. And I think as long as the cage stays on this securely, which I'm going to test out and make sure it doesn't come loose too easily with that single screw attachment, as long as that stays on the cage, I have no other problems with this cage whatsoever. The grip is comfortable. There's lots of great connections, all those screw points uh, with locating pins for other accessories to stay on there more securely. Uh, it has a lot of quarter, 20 and 3 8 inch screw threads all around. Um, and it's got this awesome functionality of being able to use these screw in uh, rods. Of course, you could do that up top too if you wanted to. I love this setup and this is great. This is a great, great addition for a handheld uh, kind of small cinema rig. And as much as I've loved the small rig cage over almost the entire time that I've been using this camera, that alone would be a great reason for me to consider this cage instead of the small rig. So I hope that was helpful. Again, I will do a kind of stress test to see if I can make this come loose just from normal use, putting it in bags, out of bags, kind of putting some stress on it to see if I can wiggle it loose with that single screw. And if I can, if it seems to be something that would become a problem, I'll put a note up on screen. But if not, then that means that there's no issues whatsoever. Otherwise, I'd highly recommend this. And in the past, I have used other Nitsi cages and I've always found them to be a little bit too bulky and awkward, but I love this cage. Again, the grip is very comfortable. It's fairly minimal. There are some parts like that bottom plate that are a little bit beefier than the small rig version, but generally speaking, I think they really slimmed this down, uh, maintained a great amount of functionality, and they made it very comfortable and functional. Great combination, well made, well done, and highly recommended. But if you have any remaining questions about this cage, please do let me know down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, if you like this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't already, share it and all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.